Hello everybody, this is Pinstripe Perico, and welcome back to Let's Play Pac-Man World 2. Today, we're taking on Clyde and the Caldera. Now, I honestly struggle with this boss, and here, I'll uh, make it go by a little bit quicker. Um, so, essentially, we cannot rev roll him, and I don't know why. This boss just continuously gives me problems, and... I wish it didn't, but it does, so... And... Uh, no! That's where the problems begin. Uh, essentially, I have to basically stop rev rolling at, like, a very specific time. And there's many times when I just forget to do that. Uh, so he's going to be resting over here. Ah, oh, God. And... Yeah. Nope. There we go. Oh, that was close. I almost went straight into the freaking lava. Okay. And now he's going to do all that again. But now I want to go over here. And unfortunately... Oh, God. I'm just taking so many hits. I just got to get by one checkpoint at a time. And there we go. While you're taking your pit stop, I'm stomping you. Okay. So, now what's going to happen is he's going to do something similar to the freezing thing that uh, one of the previous bosses would do. But in this time, he's just going to burn everything in sight. And uh, uh, Let me tell you something. It's not fun. So now, he's going to get closer. And then he's going to make a revolution around this main area right here. And then... Oh, not a full revolution, I see. But just enough to where I had time to react. Okay, so... Let's see, where would I want to go? Okay. Well, let's see what he does first. And then... I'm gonna half... Oh, God. You know, I think I'm better off possibly just staying here. Because... Now he's just gonna make this again. Ugh. There we go. Okay, so we're already at the second checkpoint. Doing pretty good. But now things get even more difficult. Possibly. Some might argue. Um, oh, man. That was close. Okay, so you're going back over there, huh? Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. Ugh, get the hit. That's m most important. So now... Gotta prepare. And... Oh, okay. So, now we just need... Oh, one more hit. Come on. Okay, so you're going over there. <gasps> no! At least, he keeps going to the spot with the one-up. So that's nice for me. Um, for whatever reason, his aim is just freaking terrible. So, this is actually a decent start. Now, he's going over here already. Huh. And this should be good. Alright, already another checkpoint. I can see I made you mad. You make me mad quite a bit, too. Uh, so, what are you gonna do... Oh, doing that, huh? Oh, god, I need to heal. Because this is the best I've done in a long time on this boss fight. So I really don't want that to be wasted. Okay, I see I've made you mad. Because you make me mad, so, uh... It's pretty even, I would say, but, uh... Uh, whatever, okay. So, he's gonna do that again, so I want to get over here. At least I'm healed now. And then... Where are you going? Okay, one more round of this area, it looks like. And... Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Oh, God! That was really close. Um, do I not have another healing item around? No, I don't. Crap. Okay. Oh, man. The heck is that garbage? I'm just going to wait over here and hope for the best. He is very far away. Oh, God, no. Now's my time. Oh, come on. Oh, man. What was that? What was it with that? What was up with that hitbox? Okay. So we've got like two more hits, I would say. And healing items. 
Excellent. And now he's actually really far away, uh, which is nice. Um, I kind of... Oh, shoot. Okay, it's actually a decent thing that I died. Now I'm fully healed, so I can't complain there. I've got, you know, uh, six lives to work with. So, uh, just got to do what I can. And my guess is that he's going to do this one more time. Yep. Okay. Hopefully that was the end of it. And that lag, though. And come on. Oh, he's doing that? Well, no, he's going back over here. Oh, God. That was terrible. I'm down to my last life? Really? Okay. Okay, I should be pretty safe here for now. Then he's going to move a bit closer, and then I'm going the opposite way. Or not. I'll just stay here, because right now I'm in the best position I've been in the whole battle. Okay. So. And. I find that the best hitbox is in the center, which makes sense. But, like, at the same time, there's times when it seems like the hitbox is better if you're going right at Clyde. It's a little bit weird, but okay. Just dodge. And... Okay. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Okay, I'm just going to wait here. Because I can really see from this angle. And... Where are you going? You're going over there. Okay, here it is, guys. Last hit. Right here. Yes! Oh, finally. I was down to my last life out of eight. Oh. Whoa, that was the best dance I've ever seen. And we got the golden pair. Now, I have no idea how that video is going to turn out. But my god. That was tough. So... I'll be right back. Okay, let's, uh, let's head to Scooba Dooba Do. Oh my god. I love the music for these levels. Oh, okay. Oh god, these are like. Oh man, I. 100%ing these is going to be extremely difficult, in my opinion. Just because you got to be like... Oh, that's how you speed up? B. Okay, you do like a little spin thing. I don't know, that's kind of cool. And... Ugh, since I'm not going for 100%, I could probably just like speed run these. I could just stick to the ground, you know? Oh god, the sharks. The, okay, those sharks are probably like the funniest looking sharks I've ever seen. Like, I mean, they're just not threatening at all. So, oh god, ugh, okay. So, overall, it's pretty easy to control down here. It's just getting 100%, I could see you being the main problem. Oh god, they want me. But who can resist Pac-Man? And, okay, that went well. And let's just get these pack dots Oh, thank god, there was a checkpoint. And ghosts? Wow, was there like a sunken pirate ship or something? Come here, you. Oh, screw it. Oh, God, what the? Oh, those are bombs or something. They, ex they explode. <laughs> yeah. This, I don't know. This part reminds me of this Finding Nemo game that I had as a kid. Not the one on the home consoles because that game eh, that game was okay i guess i didn't i never got that far in it because i i was a bit of a completionist as a kid this game was probably the one exception um but like in the gba one specifically for finding nemo uh because that's the one i remember playing the most even though although i liked it i also really disliked it for a specific reason and that was the save system oh like the one problem i had with the save system 
in Finding Nemo in the Game Boy Advance was that it was a password based system and I was terrible at remembering them so you know I would write them down and stuff but like you know I just got so aggravated I guess you can say with all that that I mean I did beat it one day but uh that was certainly annoying to do. Like, it. I don't even remember why I like that game, to be perfectly honest. I don't remember it very fondly. Like, now that I'm 17. I mean, I was playing that when I was a little kid. Like, you know, the movie came out, what, 03, I think? And I was like. I was probably like 6 when the movie came out. And I honestly don't remember what year I played the game. Uh, I do remember, I know this is sort of like a weird memory to have, but like, I just remember when I was a kid, I went to this dentist office, or some kind of office that wasn't like a doctor's office. And um, they had like a, a GameCube or something set up. And I was like, oh, cool. So, you know, that, that obviously became my favorite dentist or whatever it was. And, uh, ooh, Galaxian! Yes! Um, so, you know, that obviously became one of my favorite places to go to, just because it had a GameCube. I mean, you know, it, it may sound a little weird, but, like, aside from, uh, say, like, the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance and all that, it was really cool to just to play, you know, console games somewhere that wasn't my home. Unless it was, like, my friend's house, then it was just sort of the same, just with more people. Um, but, you know, at that time, it was just so cool. So, they had the Finding Nemo game on the GameCube, and I just remember it being so drastically different. I mean, clearly, it would be. Um, no. How about no? Um, you know, I just, you know, the Game Boy, not the Game Boy, well, okay, I guess the Game Boy, uh, the GameCube version was a version that I, I did enjoy, but at the same time, I didn't. Um, the main reason for this was the fact that when I was a kid, you know, I played a bunch of games like Spyro and Crash. I was sort of a completionist back then, unless I sucked at the game, which many of those I still do to this very day. Uh, however, I was such a completionist as a kid. If I could complete it, I would do my best to 100% the game. And, like, looking back on it now, I probably could 100% Finding Nemo on the GameCube. Um, to me, it doesn't look that difficult anymore, but, like, there were... I think it was partly because of the controls. Um, the controls were just a little weird. Um, well, oh, gee, that's just freaking great. Um, the controls were a bit weird. Um, you know, you're a fish. So I... I'd expect them to be kind of weird, but then, you know, just comparing it to other platformers that I would play in other collectathons, you know, it was just so strange. Okay, so those things do hit me, okay? I just wanted to conduct an experiment, seriously. Because, like, some of them look like you can just phase right through, but then you get hit, so I guess that's a no. Oh, no. Okay. I uh, just gotta try and just sort of speed run my way out of here. Because, like, while these levels work, I, I'm i kind of annoyed by them. But hey, what is this? Oh, it's the other level. Cool. So, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Later days. I know we only did, like, two levels, but... The levels took a while for me to do, so, you know, later days.